Greetings and welcome to Code Quickie. And today we're going to be looking at running jobs with Google BigQuery API. So when we're doing BigQuery API and we want to take some sort of action, whether it's cut copy data into BigQuery or we're going to run a SQL query, it's known as a job. And the permissions that we need to do this are the big jobs, big query jobs I create and the roles, as you can see here, are defined. So um, without any way, we're using Python and really Python is a Python is a programming language and, and we see in applications that really ties the, everything together, front end, back and database, that and the third. And I really love Python as a back end because there is a lot that you get to understand Right, you really get to understand what the back end's about. It's really not covered. It's not really affected the way as it is in Node.js. So with that, let us get started with this lab. So what we want to go ahead and do is you want to head into. Right, what we want to go ahead and do is go into running job and just paste our. Environment dictionary here, which is known as a dictionary. Uh, go ahead, right? We have dictionaries in Java and uh, Python, right? So we have the the BigQuery client initialized, right? We don't have to deal with that step. And now we want to take a look, right? So there's two ways to do this, and the first way is the client query for sure. So, right? Even even though it seems to be quite client using the query on step. Um, there's definitely different types of jobs and they, jobs really represent any action. I'm using query so that we can get familiar with what's going on, right? And it is definitely working with SQL. Definitely want to work with SQL as we do BigQuery, right? We, we, um, some specifications, right? We provide for the location, all right? And now the job config, I really want to point this out. This is, this is kind of very important, right? This is why you should set some configurations and this is what it looks like. It's not a dictionary, it's just it's just what we have in Python known as keyword arguments, right? They're keywords arguments being passed. Right. So if we go ahead, or we go ahead and run this and and run our um run our Python script, right? We see this is the job, this is the job that we have, and as well as the job ID, right? We get the query job as well as the job ID. Well, what's important is that we want to create able to create our UID, right? This job and make quickly, we're not going to see really too much about what's going on here. But um it's important that we create, we give our own job ID, right? Create our own UUID. And what we have is we actually import the UID library, right? For our sets, right? Um, and thus the lowercase a to z uppercase a. Your deny right all these um all these definitions for a job id right i wrote them down in the lab which i'll post in the video description now we we can use the guid module in order to create a id that meets those requirements and doesn't repeat itself because we have a we have a class that ends up taking care of you know, a module that ends up taking care of that right so what we want to go ahead and do is you want to copy this environment dictionary Right, and now in create UID, right, we want to be able to paste, right? And um, you saw that I use client.query, right? That's for that's for that's for client queries. And now I want to paste in the link, right? I just want to I just wanted to point out I'm going to paste in the link the actual um record um documentation, right? So that we can work with um so we can work with more defined. Uh, functions because client.query, in my opinion, is a bit abstract. You kind of don't know what that function is doing. Um, I like BigQuery job, that query job. So you specifically know that a job is taking a place and that the function is designed for a query job. So this will allow you if you put in different types of arguments that are intended for query jobs, right? Client query quite won't catch that, but this will, it's going to tell you, hey, you need to do things a certain way. Right. And um, right, and then also right, something we'll probably get into later, right? We can have an optional big query um job and job query job config 
um, um, object end up here. Instance, we can have that a config instance had end up as an optional um, positional parameter. You know, and again, we talked this thing by just wanted to mention that you see that here, right? And even I just wanted to say that I recommend using this uh, method over client.query. And you might say, hey, well, am I allowed to add a config to the job? And yes, you are. You're going to add it as that. You can also, the documentation in the link I'll provide shows for keyword parameters. You can also have it as a positional parameter optional for. Um, parameter. So let's go ahead and run this in the in the terminal, and we can see that wait, we could see that um, our job ran. But I do think I right. I yeah, I needed to switch this around right so we could see our own custom query. Right, so as you can see here, right, we are creating our own job ID instead of the one that that the API will random will generate by random. Right, we get to hold on to this. Now it's really important, as you're going to show, see in later videos, why you would you rather have a custom job ID instead of have the API give one to you. So this is really the intro. We're starting to work with BigQuery and more. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments any assistance that you need as you both work on our GCP certs. A link will be provided to the lab in the video description.